Welcome to Phoenix Display International. I'm Keith Mitnick, an LCD problem solver at Phoenix Display. You may be watching for one of two reasons. First, you may have an existing product that encountered some sort of change or was never quite right in the first place. Or you may have a new design that requires a standard, a custom, or semi-custom display. Either of these situations are not uncommon, but they can be highly stressful depending on the variables. Based upon the countless designs Phoenix Display has done over the past decade, we began to notice patterns on why customers were looking to make a change to their LCD. And I'm going to share with you the six most common reasons. Oh, and by the way, I apologize in advance. I'm an engineer, so I'll use some industry terms, but you certainly don't have to be a technical person to understand what I'm talking about in this video. So let's get started. The first reason to consider a new display is due to the delivery. Too often, I've had customers in my office scrambling for a replacement display because their current supplier could not deliver per their original commitment. In each of these cases, the consequences were substantial. These customers went lying down, and the cost to minimize the impact often included large and unnecessary expediting fees, and more importantly, missed end customer commitments. Not to mention the time and aggravation and the distraction that these delivery issues cause the entire organization. To avoid this critical issue, we employ a number of strategies. First, we control the manufacturing. Second, we build parts specifically for each customer. Additionally, we can implement stocking strategies and adjust to production schedule changes. Yet we have found that our, our customers are mostly interested in working with a partner, someone that understands the importance of delivery, responds quickly to changes, and makes their customer a priority. The second reason is due to obsolescence. Are you now dealing with a complete redesign because your display has gone end of life and is no longer available? It's not uncommon for parts to go end of life. But the problem occurs when you're not notified or not provided with an acceptable alternate solution. As a result, this can create a line down situation while frantically trying to find an equivalent replacement and often the end result is a massive redesign effort to accommodate all the differences in this new replacement display. This is why we created the Crossmatch program. If you're interested in learning more about this program, just click the link on this page and we'll email you the program details. So now let's talk about the third reason, which is quality. We focus only on LCD displays. We understand how to quickly react to quality issues and getting our customers back up and running as fast as possible, regardless of whether these issues are display related or not. Our customers have worked very hard to create a solid reputation with their products. With that being said, poor yields, shipping delays, and most importantly, field rejects can jeopardize that reputation, particularly if your LCD partner isn't responsive. So to address this concern, we have developed a supply chain quality system process that includes a comprehensive corrective action to ensure that quality issues are not only dealt with, but eliminated. With our quality systems in place, we determine the root cause and fix from the source, regardless of what is causing the problem. So number four is performance. Do you have a product that outperforms your competition, but doesn't have the same curb appeal? Or do you have environmental challenges, such as extreme temperatures, sunlight readability, or an issue with the overall look and feel of your product. There are so many factors that affect the performance. For this reason, we start our design process based upon the needs of your end product. So I'll repeat that because it's pretty important. We start our design process based on the needs of your end product. We do that as we are the display expert and we take the responsibility over this design process. We start with the application and from there determine what the display specification should be. This process ensures that we develop the optimal solution the first time and also does not require you to become an LCD display expert. Another common reason customers come to us is for a brand new design. This process can feel overwhelming, particularly if your area of expertise is not LCD displays. More importantly, a step missed in the design process may cause delays as well as result in an inferior solution. You could be designing a standard display or a custom display. In either case, our team of engineers will work closely with you throughout the design process. We already know the questions to ask and the hurdles to overcome to ensure each part of the process is optimized. Now the sixth and final reason is due to cost. There's four key factors that drive cost. 
The first factor is what we call supply chain efficiency, meaning who is manufacturing the display and who is actually selling it to you. And there are levels of distribution in between. So depending on your product type and your volume level, there's an ideal structure for that procurement. The second factor is related to the stocking nature of your display. If you have the volume to support a build-to-order product rather than buying existing stock from a distributor, your supply chain will naturally be more efficient. Typically, our build-to-order volume is about five to 10,000 per year, but each project is unique, and this will vary from project to project. The third cost driver is design efficiency. The LCD display should be designed for a specific application, as there's no need to pay for functionality that you don't use. And most importantly is the core competency of the LCD supplier. For example, Phoenix Display focuses only on, and is optimized for, small format, mid-volume LCD production. Let me explain what that means. Our facilities are extremely efficient for volumes typically ranging from 5,000 a year to about 200,000 a year. This volume range allows us to engage in custom displays, build the order, and allows the orders to be large enough to ship directly to our end customers. So let's recap. We've talked about delivery issues, obsolescence, quality, performance, new designs, and cost. You may be dealing with one or more of these issues right now. If that's the case, we're happy to work with you to determine if we have the right solution. If by chance we can't offer you the very best option for your project, there's a good chance we have a contact and can point you in the right direction. Here's how to connect with us. You can submit your project information on our 24-hour quote form located right on our homepage. Or if you don't have all the information yet, well, just give us a call and we'll ask you some questions to help you get started. If currently you don't have an LCD project but would like to keep in touch or stay current with the LCD display trends, simply enter your first name and email address on our homepage and we'll send you relevant information to help you stay on top of the ever-changing LCD technology. As I mentioned earlier, cross-matching an existing display or developing brand new display design can be overwhelming. We're here to help you navigate through this process. Again, I'm Keith Mitnick with Phoenix Display International. Have a great day.